Hey guys, so I'm back with my August uh, budget empties video. Um, I had $100 this month that my husband and I decided that we'd each get 100 bucks, so I got 100 and I spent all of it. So um, as some of you may know, we had a trip that we did this month. Uh, we went to Tennessee, so some, uh, or not all, almost, of my funds went towards um, things for the trip that I purchased on the trip. Uh, the first $20 that I spent though was earlier in the month and it was for a uh, donation for GoFundMe. It was for the find uh, um, Austin and Perry fund on there. Um, if you're not familiar, those it's those two teenage boys that uh, are missing in Florida. So I saw that uh, through social media and I felt compelled to donate to that. So I used some personal money for that. Uh, the rest of the $80 I spent. Uh, so the first thing I bought um, was I spent $35 on this. This is Loving Tan. I actually found this through Instagram, which I was really surprised about. Um, I'm the type of person that I in order to tan, I usually have to burn. I know that sounds weird, but um, it just, if I go outside and I put on the proper lotions and sunscreen blocker and all that stuff, I just don't tan at all. I mean, I could be outside for hours and hours, days and days, and I just won't get a tan. Um, not that deep bronzy tan that I want to get. So um, I can't burn my skin, obviously. That's just not smart. Again, so it's called Loving Tan, and this is the medium. And I'm always very like cautious of um, self tanners. I've made the mistake before of using some of them and uh, I turn orange, but this is actually a really good brand. I was actually very surprised with it. Um, it just makes you look like you've had a tan. Uh, this is the color medium, which is the lightest that you can get. I just didn't want to look too Jersey Shore-ish um, when I applied it. So I got the lightest I can and it's, it's really nice. Um, it, the first like three days after I apply it is kind of that tan that I want and then it starts to fade away It's only meant to last like seven to like ten days or something like that. And you're supposed to reapply it. So um, I may get the dark one next time just so it like will last a little bit longer But I'm very happy with the medium if that's like the more appropriate color uh, that matches my skin tone like if I were to have a tan so I'm really happy with it so I spent $35 on that and I also had a coupon for the free um, applicator you basically just it's a mousse so you put it on here and then you just apply it to your skin and I'm really happy with it so I spent $35 on that I've already used it like two or three times um, and the bottle seems actually maybe four times by now um, and the bottle uh, still is pretty pretty full I would say at least uh, more than half full so uh, it seems to last a long time so I really like that and uh, so again that was 35 and then we uh, during our trip we went to uh, the Grand Ole Opry um, I needed to do something very touristy on our trip so uh, that was the first uh, stop that we went and I got two things uh, we went on a tour uh, when we bought paid for the tickets for the tour that went out of a separate fund for just vacation. Um, I bought a t-shirt in their little gift shop, which just says like Grand Ole Opry. Um, I just needed something, uh, a t-shirt from, you know, Grand Ole Opry or uh, wherever else we were going to go. This actually was the only t-shirt I got on the trip. And so that was 20 bucks. And then the other thing I got was a picture. Now, again, we went on the tour and if you're not familiar with the Grand Ole Opry, it is basically a very um, a historic uh, concert hall, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, and a every single, anybody who's ever been big in country music has sung there, performed there. Um, and I just was, com I just wanted to go so bad. I'm a big Loretta Lynn fan. I love Johnny Cash. I love like all the old school um, country people and so I wanted to go so bad and um, during the tour you actually get to go up on stage and again if you're familiar with the Grand Ole Opry they have the infamous uh, wood circle where all of the top dogs have they have stood there and they have performed and um, it's just kind of a big deal and they actually let you stand on it and take a picture so I really like the picture my husband not so much so I'll just kind of flash it real quick so you can't see it. Um, he says he was making a funny face in it. I don't think he was. Um, I just really like the picture. Uh, it just has us as a family in it. Um, so anyway, I really liked it and it was $25. And I usually don't buy things like that. Um, I'm not the type that like when you get off the roller coaster, you buy the, the picture of you making a funny face. Uh, you know, it's, it's fun to look at on the screen, but I usually don't buy them. But this one I really wanted to buy. So I spent $25 on that. Um, and so that's my money. A uh, hundred bucks can go pretty quick. Um, I'm not going to be posting a September uh, budget empties video next month 
because I am going to be participating in the No Spin September Challenge. Um, I think a couple other channels might be doing it as well. I did one for No Spin January that um, was challenging because it sucks to not be able to buy anything or spend money, but at the end of the challenge you do feel kind of rewarded because you're able to kind of save money throughout the month not just by spending money uh, not just by not spending money but by also trying to be frugal in other uh senses you know you try to like use the food that you have instead of going grocery shopping and i'm also going to be doing a gazelle intense uh challenge the hundred dollar grocery challenge so it's kind of a good month to just kind of buckle down and try to save a lot of money especially for the holiday season coming up so um i'm not going to have anything to show you guys that i purchased with my own spending money next month because i'm not going to get any so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later